This is why I say I really believe it was a ploy to keep people from getting to that poll. Let's get to some breaking news here at 11 as the ACLU has filed a lawsuit in federal court after Saturday's events in Graham. This just hours after the Democratic congressional delegation sent a letter to the Department of Justice asking them to look into the pepper spraying of a crowd marching to the polls. The ACLU and Democratic congressional leaders claiming voter intimidation was the goal. And Fox 8's Rashida Kaba joins us from downtown Graham with the latest. Rashida, this announcement came right about an hour ago after some tense moments today and over the last couple days. Yeah, the ACLU says that law enforcement incited violence on peaceful protesters who were just trying to make their way to the polls. Now, this law, this uh, lawsuit is on behalf of Reverend Gregory Drumright. He is the organizer of Saturday's event, as well as Ann Jones. She's a local activist for People for Change. Now, some of the people who I spoke with today who were at that rally say that because of how quickly everything happened and uh, the deploy, the deploying of pepper spray, they weren't able to actually make their way to the polls and cast their ballot that day. Take a look. 15 people arrested, uh, ranging charges ranging from resisting a public officer, failure to disperse, all the way to misdemeanor rioting. This after Alamance County deputies and Grand Police say that they noticed a gas-powered generator amongst the crowd of hundreds, causing a fire risk. When they tried to remove it, they say that they were met with pushback from protesters. Deputies in the meantime say that they gave three verbal warnings before deploying that pepper spray. Some voters who say they were already feeling the impacts of voter intimidation by opposing citizens intended to cast their ballots with the group saying that they felt safer doing so on Saturday, but now they're forced to make other plans to head to the polls tomorrow. Yeah, the only option is to vote on Tuesday, and we definitely plan on going to, together. Um, we plan to meet each other and um, go with each other to our polling stations because that's our only option. Now, Reverend Drumright is continuing this push to help get people to the polls. In fact, tomorrow at 4, they're going to have another rally to get people to the polls. They're even offering them free rides to the elderly and people living with disabilities, just trying to make sure that everybody's able to cast their ballot come tomorrow. Reporting live in Graham, Rashida Kaba, Fox 8 News. And we are planning to have a crew there tomorrow. Rashida, thanks.